The film is really about this huge event. The king and queen are coming to visit, and it's the biggest thing that has happened at Downton in years. The king and queen are coming to stay. What? During their Yorkshire tour? That's it, just for a night. I felt this was quite believable because they did make tours of the country at that time. The aristocracy used to invite themselves to each other's houses if they were passing through. It was a sort of familial duty to provide a place to stay. It's quite an honor. It is, but if I know anything about royal visits, we will never stop changing our clothes. The family are aristocrats, so they are part of that world, and it's their job to host the royal family well. When that letter arrives from Buckingham Palace to say they're coming, Blimey. there's obviously that excitement. A royal luncheon, a parade, and a dinner. I'm going to have to sit down. It creates chaos because everybody, of course, wants the visit to be perfect. Members of the royal and imperial household are coming to Downton who will have visited the greatest houses in the land. And then obviously then all the cogs have to start turning and this place has to become worthy of a royal visit. Well, of course, a uh, family like the Crawleys, who are probably older than royalty itself, want to make it appear as though this is just, you know, water off a duck's back. But suppose it's still raining. God will make it stop. Even for the Crawleys, it's a huge deal that they're coming to visit. And there's this brilliant line that Princess Mary says, Just don't paint anything. They're sick of the smell of new paint. <laughs> this is what people would do, is they would redecorate for the family. Everyone's at the top of their game because the king and queen are coming to downturn. Here they come now. When the king and queen arrive at Downton and all the staff and all the family are there and they drive up and the footmen open, there's a lot of protocol to be attended to that was like a big piece of choreography. Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey. We're glad to be here, Lady Grantham. Now you've got to remember that in 1927, very few people would have clapped eyes on the king and queen. You know, there was no TV. You might have heard their voice on the radio. And so the idea of seeing them in person must have been intoxicating. We are quite used to people behaving strangely when we are near. This is what these houses are meant to do. And, you know, it's a big thing for the family, but it's a big thing for the town. When they get there, there is a parade where the king is inspecting the Yorkshire hussars. And that was a massive spectacle for us to stage. More than a hundred troopers and their horses meant that we had to build stables and an army camp for them all to stay in. So it was a huge logistical undertaking. The military parade and the ball, the two big set pieces, I hope people will raise their eyebrows and go, wow. In the series, we've done some big things, but it was pretty clear from the filmmaking point of view, the royal visit did feel on a scale that none of us had ever seen before. And that's something I'm really proud of. Mm -hmm.